Hello Spider Owners, Brandon here with Slingmods.com and today we have Show Chrome's Padded Driver Backrest for the Canon Spider RT. Now if you're watching this, chances are you're looking for additional back support while riding your Spider RT. Well, look no further. Our popular Smart Mount Detachable Spider RT Backrest is now available for the 2020 Plus models. This backrest pad measures in at 10 inches wide by 6.5 inches tall and can be easily pulled up and off at any time or reinserted back into the hidden attachment base below in just a few seconds. This backrest system includes Hoffnell's unique pad assembly allowing for up to 1 inch of vertical adjustment as well as up to 3 inches of horizontal adjustment so that you can fine tune your backrest position to fit your particular needs. You can also tilt the backrest completely forward, allowing your passenger to easily throw a leg over when mounting or dismounting the spider. The backrest will also include a removable storage pouch, so your passenger can store some of the smaller items such as their phone, wallet, keys, and anything else that's small enough to fit. So now follow me as we walk you through the installation process on our 2020 Spider RT. Start by attaching the bike mount to the riser using the two 12mm M8 screws and leaving them finger tight. So that it's still loose enough to slide the riser on and off. Then take the backrest riser and attach the adjustment plate using the two 18mm long M6 screws with the lock washer and flat washer and then just leave those finger tight for now. Now take the U-shaped mounting bracket and line up the two holes with the two pre-drilled white marks on the back of the backrest and screw in the two half-inch 10-30-second screws while pushing down pretty hard until you feel it hit the threaded metal attachment point just below the padded surface. Next take the T-shaped top bracket and attach it to the backrest mounting bracket using the shorter of the two long bolts and quarter-inch lock nut leaving it finger tight for now. Then take the two 14mm M6 screws with lock washers and attach the bottom bracket to the top bracket using two of the four holes that allow you to choose the height of the backrest. Now take the longer of the two bolts and lock nut and attach the bottom bracket to the riser assembly, leaving it finger tight for now. Next, you can push down on the key and turn it clockwise to lift open your driver's seat so they can reach back and release those two lock tabs at the front of the passenger seat. Then lower the driver's seat so that you can lift the passenger seat up and off. Next, take a 13mm socket to loosen these two screws holding the seat tray down so that you can slide the bike mount down past the square frame tubing and attach it to the bike using the 16mm bolt, lock washer, and large fender washer, making sure not to over tighten. Then you can tighten those two 13mm seat tray screws back down, reattach the passenger seat, then slide the backrest down into position where you'll now be able to tighten down the rest of the hardware and make any other adjustments to the seating position. And then finally, you can attach the included pouch to the back of the backrest pad. And 
And it's as simple as that, folks. Now, if lower back support is at the top of your Spider RT mod list, then be sure to head on over to slingmods.com today or click the link in the description below to grab one for yourself. And don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so I can keep you up to date on everything Spider. I'm Brandon, signing out. Until next time.